Hello, I wanted to talk to you today about some accounting issues that you'll be facing with the COVID-19 crisis. For many of you, your business, if we were to graph your revenue, it would be like this. It's coming along 17, 18, 19, and then we hit 20. What happened with COVID is it's gone down. And um, if you're going to look at selling your business, you're going to want to treat the 2020 numbers as a one-time event. Q1 and probably Q2 of 2020, you'll want to treat them as a one-time event and exclude them from your financial reporting as you're showing that to buyers. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to show a strong uptrend the last half of 2020 going into 21. And if you do that, you're probably going to be okay and the downtick in, in revenue or sales from the COVID-19 crisis won't impact your selling price of your business. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about today was these three types of loans, the uh, government loans that we're seeing business owners get right now. The first one is the PPP loan, and uh, it can be forgiven. Um, the second one is a straight loan, usually a 30-year amortization. First year uh, interest payments or payments on it are deferred, and it's usually at 3.75%. And the third one is just a grant, and it's usually forgiven or not forgiven. Um, it's just a straight grant. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the financials and how that's going to impact your financials. You're going to want to talk to your CPA about this and make sure that it's accurate. On the PPP loan, initially when you get your money, you're going to have expenses. They're going to be uh, continuing and it's not going to show as income on your income statement until it's forgiven. So you may have the expenses loaded into 2019 and then the income coming in in 2020. Initially when you get your PPP loan, it should be accounted for. Uh, as an expense as you spend the money and it's going to be on your balance sheet as a debt when you first receive the money. After it's forgiven, it's removed from the balance sheet and then it shows as income on your income statement. Just make sure that you talk to your CPA, talk to your accountant and that it's accounted for properly because you're probably wondering, what do I do with this money first? Well, you spend it on your business, but two, how do you account for it properly and uh, make sure that uh, you're accurate your accurate reporting on your financials. So the loans that are not forgiven, they're gonna show as expenses on your income statement and they're gonna show as balance sheet items as a debt. That can hurt you if all you're looking at is EBITDA or SDE, your cash flow, for a, a multiple of those to sell your business for evaluation. So just be mindful of that. If that's the case, treat it as a one-time event. It can be excluded and you'll be okay. The last one, the grant, um, that money comes in and it's treated as income and expense. Uh, income when it comes into your company and as expense as you spend the money. Remember, mind your exit, don't blind your exit.